Villa relegated Newcastle here in 2009. The same can't quite happen again with the Magpies' fate out of their own hands. But the result will have a massive bearing on whether they'll be joining the hosts in the Championship next season. Rafa Benitez was drafted in to save them from the drop and is hoping to achieve his goal. The final home game of a depressing campaign, this grand old venue will certainly be sorely missed by the Premier League next season. Jordan Ayew scored a wonder goal in the one-all draw at St James's Park in December, but the recent record against the men from the North East is poor. Froggy, welcome back to the studio. A huge game for the opposition. How do you see it from the home team's perspective? Well, after 11 straight defeats on the trot, Points, Jack, points, pride. Mm. It's not even points now, is it? Because points don't make a difference to anything we're doing. It, it's now all about pride. Pride in the shirt, pride, pride in yourself. You know, you don't want to be going away in the summer holidays on the back of 13 straight defeats. Mm. You don't. They've got to show some fight and, uh, against a team that, believe you me, under Rafa Benitez, they will fight. They have been fighting. They've been showing their fans how much they don't want to go down because they shouldn't have been in the position they're in with the, with the players that they've got. But with an unsettled defence and they haven't been firing with goals in the opposite direction, um, you know, they've had a really disappointing season themselves. There will be an intensity given Newcastle's precarious position. Their fate is out of their hands. They're on... 33, but they played the extra game, and it, it's fascinating, isn't it? With Sunderland on 32, Norwich 31, Sunderland and Norwich have hard games this weekend, but then they both play Watford and Everton yeah. in, in the final week. And, and if you were looking for matches to play, you want to play mid, mid table teams, don't you? You would certainly, yeah, you would do. Um, and Newcastle will be coming in t- you know, to the game at the weekend, and they'll be fully expecting three points, Jack, because mm. they'll be looking at us 11 games on the bounce playing in front of the home crowd where it's been quite hostile in, in recent times. And I'll be thinking, right, get stuck into them for the first 10, 15 minutes, get the first goal. Get the first goal because they will see, this is the opposition manager, will be saying yeah. they will crumble. That's what Rafa will be in, instilling mm. into his players. Get the first goal and they will fold. Now, you know, in the last two games, there's been a little sign with a couple of goals that they've been showing a bit more. We've still been getting beat, so at the end of it, it's all been for nothing. Yeah, nice shirt, by the way. Summer must be here. We are having some very pleasant weather, but just looking around, Froggy, this is it. We're going to get quite emotional because it's the final home Premier League game for now for Aston Villa. It so is. You, you know, it must make you think and look back. And as for me and for you as an ex-player, just on some of the, the great moments you've had here. Yeah, and for me, it fills me with great sadness, Jack, because mm. I, I know prior to me being born, Villa had, you know... Um, my father-in-law used to watch the team when they were in the, mm. the lower divisions where it really was difficult for the club. But ever since I've been part of the club, we were top of the Premier League. So to see them where they are now, yeah. for, for any ex-pro, I mean, I speak with all the old boys, you know, I see them on the circuit and there's a, a vast amount of fond- fondness and sadness for this great football club and they're all rooting for them or whoever comes in to turn it around and get them back up next year. OK, much more analysis over on AVTVHD. Tony Morley back alongside me for live commentary on Saturday afternoon. We'll see you then.